Okay, I don't know what happened there, but... Okay, this is continuing on here. Hmm. Hmm? Hang on. That would mean... Aha! Uh -huh. Now I see. So that's his plan. Da Vinci? Figured out already, eh? I see your reputation as a genius artist is well, is well deserved. Hang on just a moment. I need to look something up. Quick! All staff, gather around. We need to begin an emergency investigation. So what's his plan? What's the, what is his plan already? It's not possible to destroy the world. Goetia's objective may have been different, but his plan took it still took 3,000 years to come to future fruition. However, it is possible to remove the world from history. In other words, if the world is removed from history, well done! Yes, that's exactly it. This is terrible. That world is already devoid of meaning. What do you mean, Da Vinci? I mean, that world is already cut off from history. No matter what happens there in Shinjuku, it won't have any effect on humanity whatsoever. I mean, of course, it can take things a bit, it make things a bit unstable, but no more than the tiniest of trainer, tremors. No matter how unstable humanity gets at this level, there will never be another, there will never be any adverse effects. In the worst case, that Shinjuku should be destroyed without issue. It wouldn't be, it wouldn't even affect Caldea. So this world is going to be destroyed, unless we find a way to avert it. Well, unless we can find a way to avert it. Wait, we're forgetting the most important thing. What will happen to Master? That's the crux of it. Basically, everything else hangs on exactly how we bring Solaria home. However, if that world is already cut off from history, we may be able to force a ray shift. If we can, that would solve everything. Yes. That all sounds right, but... Hmm. Yes, that is how it would play out, isn't it? Shinjuku would remain a puppet and be destroyed alongside this planet by my other self. That's terrible. Now, now, hear me out. Yes, Shinjuku, the world, we servants, that would all be gone. But if you make it back to Chaldea, in effect, nothing would be lost. I mean, yes, we will lose our lives, but in the end... The Shinjuku would simply re revert to oblivion. You're wrong. I knew you'd say that, Miss Loria. What do you think, Miss Clearlight? As a servant, I'd like to place the highest importance on my master's life. That said, and this may be rather impudent, impudent of me, but if Master were to return here safe to safety and abandon Shinjuku to his doom, well, I just wouldn't be like her. I'm glad you're my servant. Thank you, Master. I'm glad you still think of me that way. Hmm. Hmm. Jealous? Now, now, don't go kicking another be beehive. Yes, good point. For a moment, it was I was deadly afraid, for, deathly afraid for my life. Now then. As representative of Chaldea, I can't just let Solaris share Shinjuku's fate. She has fought alongside us for a full year now. We won't let her throw her life away. However, as a master, we also, we also wish to respect her wish to save Shinjuku. So I'll ask you once more, one more time, Solaria. There is no point in saving this Shinjuku. Doing so would help either neither humanity nor the people there still worth protecting, if any even exist. It wouldn't even be a problem if the servants you have have met were to vanish here were to vanish. This may sound callous, but abandoning Shinjuku would not endanger the restoration of humanity in the slightest. The servants who who are there with you now would never blame you for making such a such a choice. So even taking all that into consideration, do you believe this Shinjuku is worth saving? I do. I see. Well, that does indeed sound like you. Anyway, that's a relief. Even though you've now saved a world or two, you're still just as caring, optimistic, and possessed of an indomitable fighting spirit as ever. <laughs> Alright then, I guess that settles it. You have Caldea's full support. Of course, it doesn't mean you, we won't also lay the 
groundwork for, for a force race ship to bring you home. All right then, now that you've made your decision, I suppose I better tell you something else. Does this new thing you have to tell us have anything to do with why you've been so nervous? Well, if Miss Solari had decided to go home, there wouldn't have been any point in sharing this either tr other truth. I should now tell you the culprit, how the culprit, the evil Moriarty, plans on destroying the planet. It is true that with the end of with the world divided, her safeguards would fail to work. Nonetheless, destroying the entire planet should, should remain utterly unfathomable. No matter how great his control over Shinjuku may be, it is not enough to destroy the world. In which case, Moriarty, what do you think we could you could need you would need to make such destruction possible? Hmm. To destroy the planet one would need enough energy to match that scale. That energy would need to be focused toward the Earth's core, a central destruction point. Naturally, this is far easier than said than done. The sheer amount of energy required for such a task is incomprehensibly massive. For example, a meteor. A meteor falling to Earth would easily meet such energy requirements. But of course, there is no reliable way to predict such an occurrence. <clears throat> such a thing may generate the prerequisite energy, but it would not be possible to hit the necessary target. In which case, the next thing, what, next thing one would need is a device designed to throw in a, to draw in a passing meter to direct its impact to the desired coordinates. A gun barrel. So, you mean something that look, could load and fire a meteor like a bullet? Barrel? Indeed. Remember, Master. Remember, Master? The mysterious tower that stands on Shinjuku's western edge? The one growing taller by the day, as if it were trying to pierce the heavens themselves? That is the device Moriarty will need to complete this plan. Wait, what? That builds an actual gun barrel? But it doesn't even move. How could something like that possibly load a meteor like a bullet? A phantom spirit. A phantom spirit? What does a spirit that fails to become a heroic spirit have to do with this? Indeed. I too was puzzled by, by why Moriarty was so focused on phantom spirits. But upon rereading his book, the Daily Nights of an Asteroid. Oh, he's no phantasm. I finally understood. He plans to control a meeting using his servant abilities. That is why he needs the phantom spirit's power. The power to hit a target, no matter the circumstances. Thus, the Phantom Spirit he has summoned is none other than De Der Freischultz, Max the Freeshooter. The hunter who made him deal with the devil for seven magical bullets. That is who Moriarty has, was, has absorbed. Six of his seven bullets will always hit their mark, regardless of the obstacles in their path. In other words, he has no control of the seventh and final bullet. And that's not all. <coughs> this ability more this bill is more about hitting targets and actually hurting them. Thus, this phantom spirit is actually relegated to nothing more than a character in an opera. That is what Moriarty is taking advantage of. Now I see. That explains why I was summoned. Uh, it's another game I'm playing. That explains why I was summoned as an archer and not a caster. And why I'm able to fire bullets and miss missiles from this coffin I never used when I was alive. And you couldn't have figured that out sooner? Jean Alta makes an excellent point. <laughs> Sorry about that. I imagine that must be some of the knowledge I lost during this during the split. Remember the time I remember the time that I mentioned earlier, Miss Alaria? Once the tower is complete, it won't be long before a meteor comes our way. Once it does, it will jump into the barrel and be fired into the planet. Voila, a magical bullet. Which, if Moriarty's theory is correct, will result in the murder of Earth itself. The most heinous crime committed thought throughout all of history. Massacre on, massacre on an unprecedented scale. Ah, you flatter me. That wasn't a compliment. Idiot. At any rate, regardless of whether this plan is feasible, we are certain is what is what the League of Phantom Fiends is working towards, correct? Indubitably. I know it's filthy rich coming from me, seeing as I tried to destroy France and all, but yikes. I mean, that killed all of them, too. Indeed it would. 
Though, of course, thinking logically, a servant can truly, can never truly die. Nonetheless, if they are still aiding in the world's destruction, they are likely doing so for pleasure, revenge, or some other unknown purpose. Thus, their role is to build an enormous wall over on Shinjuku and guard the barrel. So, if you wish to save Shinjuku, our first step must be to neutralize the assassin of Shinjuku. Indeed, that transformation build is quite formidable. If left unchecked, I may well end up cutting down John Alton by mistake. Try it, Ice Bitch Queen, I dare you. But yeah, I agree. That guy pisses me off, and we should kill him. Soon. So, how do we do that? Now that Moriarty... Yes, Holmes, what do you want from me now that we've you've robbed me of my job of explaining things? That's what you're upset about? At any rate, I want you to come up with a plan. That is what you excel at, isn't it? Scheming? I may excel at following plans, but when it comes to crafting them, you are no doubt my better. So that's how it is. In that case, I'll need information. Give me everything you have on the, on the enemy, including their dealings with external entities. Very well. Here you are. Aha! Interesting. Now I see. Hmm. We do this, followed by that. Although, hmm, what we really need is, ex is sexiness. Did I hear just, did I hear what I just think I just heard? Hmm? It must be your imagination. My plan is foolproof. Are you certain about this? Whereas his plans may appear nonsensical, but in hindsight, they nearly always work out well. I understand your concerns, but I think it's worth rolling the dice on. All right, then, everyone, we're off to, sit to the city to buy clothes. And by buy, I mean, of course, I, of course, mean steal. What? Are you sure this will work? Oh, yes, without a doubt. As for you, Holmes, I shall let you handle the land the final blow. Good grief. I know this is my idea, but your plan is exceptionally reckless. Master, just to make sure, is it alright with you to proceed with my plan? What other choice do we have? Indubitably. I agree it's rather reckless, but it also makes full use of everything we bring to the table. I trust it will work out. Okay, let's get started. It's dress-up time. But first... Go ahead and clear out those ruffians and brainwash colaturas. What's that? They refuse to leave? Makes sense. In that case, it's battle time. <clears throat> I don't know what happened there earlier when it, uh, all of a sudden it stopped. I mean, I don't know if there's a section of the screen that I can press to stop the recording. Maybe I did that. Okay. That looks like I'm going to power up the mole phantasms quite, quite easily here. Alright. Just going to go attack these people. Everyone's fully powered on their noble phantasms. Now let's uh, take out this ruffian here. His son's on to take him out. <clears throat> oh, 
Well, at least I've heard them quite a bit. Uh, yeah. Hmm. I think Sons on should be able to take them out, take one out. Yep. Good. Uh ow. Okay, I'm gonna have to activate guts on on uh on her. Him out. Okay. Yep. All right. You know, Chris should take it out. Yeah, I know I got a um, NP battery skill, but I don't know how much. Uh, whatever assassin is here. I think the Korotoros. Yep, Korotoros, and they've got quite a amount of hit points. Okay. How much they're uh, were susceptible to de instant death, but we'll find out. Oh, I love Sunzon. Oh, instant death on both. Nice. Good job, Nita Chris. Good job all around. This is a story part, yep. Right then, everyone, what's so we get changed? Go out there and raise hell. Changed, eh? Changed, huh? Okay, I guess I will too. Ah, uh, uh, master, not so fast. Your outfit is right here. Huh? Wouldn't I have the Shinjuku outfit right now? Okay. Party hall, and we got... We got archers! Okay. And the guest servant is Artoria. Not taking her because... She's, uh, she's... She's a saber, and archers are strong against sabers. So, that'll be the next video. Until next time, Love Jensen. Thank you all for watching. See you then. Take care of yourselves.